In early December, Trump received a visit from House Speaker Paul Ryan. Ryan and his aides had arrived intending to offer Trump a tutorial on how the federal government works. They had prepared charts detailing the federal budget process, assuming as a builder he would take to a visual rendering of the system. But regardless of how the information was presented, Trump seemed unable or unwilling to focus on it. He wanted to discuss how he had already inserted himself into the Air Force's negotiations with Boeing for a new Air Force One plane, to note how much fun he had watching people react angrily to his tweets, and to inquire out of nowhere, why don't we tax Amazon? Trump interrupted the meeting to take a call from a cable news host. You'll never guess who's here. It's Paul Ryan. Want to talk to him? Trump said, before handing the phone over to his surprised guest. Trump had a vague, high-level understanding of what the various agencies did. The State Department handled international diplomacy, for instance, but he knew little more about how they worked or interacted with one another. A lack of awareness about basic economics revealed itself when Trump talked about having the U.S. Treasury simply print more money, at one point suggesting the federal government could issue debt and buy it back easily with the new cash. His attention over time repeatedly gravitated instead toward things that related to construction projects, such as a new Air Force One and FBI headquarters, or his promise to build a wall along the country's southern border. Throughout the year, Trump also tried to manage the stories told of his presidency, speaking to nearly every author writing a book on the topic. I was among them. Trump typically welcomed visiting authors for interviews in an indoor area at Mar-a-Lago that gets converted to a dining room at night, or a model of the redesigned Air Force One, whose proposed new livery had been an early focus of Trump's after winning the presidency, but was to be developed after his term, sat proudly on a low table. Trump had registered to vote in Florida while he was president, something his family said he likely would have done even if he'd lost in 2016. <laughs> 